Hello, this is Dr. Murky, and I am making a, I'm afraid, for some long-winded video on um, whether or not Austrian economics is scientific. And it, it's not going to be um, thorough as a, as a journal article would be, but uh, I just feel compelled to, to tackle this issue because I've been hearing that Austrian economics is not scientific, and I uh, wanted to uh, respond. Uh, so first off, I'll uh, get to uh, the 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 side that supports. I mean, the to the case that supports the assertion that Austrian economics is not scientific or you know not the best way to discover the truth. Um, so I'm going to read you a passage from uh, uh, an old book, very old, from. Uh, around uh, 1800, early 1800s, about 200 years ago, by uh, William Darwin, who's uh, best known for writing uh, an inquiry, an inquiry uh, concerning political justice. And uh, this passage concerns the, uh, the two principal methods according to which, the, which truth may be investigated. Uh, so uh, the first, according to Darwin, is by laying down one or two simple principles which seem scarcely to be exposed to the hazard of refutation, and then developing them, applying them to a number of points, and following them into a variety of inferences. From this method of investigation, the first thing we are led to hope is that there will result a system constantaneous to itself, and secondly, constantaneous to itself, and secondly, that if all the parts shall thus be brought into agreement with a few principles, and if those principles be themselves true, the whole will be found conformable to truth. An inquiry thus pursued is undoubtedly in the highest style of man, but it is liable to many disadvantages. And though there be nothing that it involves too high for our pride, it is perhaps a method of investigation incom uh, incommensurate to our powers. A mistake in the commencement is fatal. An error in almost any part of the process is attended with extensive injury where everything is connected, as it were, in an insoluble chain, and an oversight in one step vitiates all that are to follow. Uh, the intellectual eye of man, perhaps, is, fo is formed rather for the inspection of minute and near than of immense and distant objects. We proceed most safely when we enter upon each portion of our process, as it were, de novo, and there is danger if we are too exclusively anxious about consistency of system consistency of system, that we may forget the perpetual attention we have, uh, we, we, the perpetual attention we owe to experience, the pole star of truth. So the, the ending is important. He says, uh, experience of the pole star of truth. That's his, uh, his claim. And uh, he seems to be uh, distrustful of uh, just uh, pure theory which is uh, what the Austrian uh, methodology is associated with, just uh, pure theory. Another uh, author that seems to perhaps be, uh, uh, I guess, critical of the Austrian me method and, uh, you know, a priori reasoning, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, it's Stuart Chase, and uh, this book is called The Proper Study of Mankind, it's, and it was written about uh, the time of, uh, right after World War II. And, um, and in this, he, he gives uh, the six methods for solving problems. One is uh, appeal, to the appeal to the supernatural, that's the first one. Two, appeal to worldly authority, he adds the older the, older the better, he adds. Um, three, intuition. Four, common sense. Five pure logic and six the scientific method and he so he distinguishes pure logic from the scientific method and, and, and the, the 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 message that's that's hammered uh, home in the book is that the scientific method is you know the best we have and so we we should prefer that to uh, the other five including pure logic which is uh, associated with the Austrian school now. Uh, to uh, the 
pro-Austrian side is the, I guess, the, the, uh, the demand as far as Austrian economics is concerned, uh, uh, von Mises. Von Mises, the, uh, whom the uh, uh, Mises, Mises Institute is named after, who published this book, Human Action, this, this pocket edition. Um, so, his, so he responded to this, this whole uh, attack on Austrian economics uh, in the in the claim that it's, that it's not scientific, he, he, he responded to this in, in Human Action, which was published originally published in uh, 1949. And uh, the, the the relevant chapter is uh, the epistemological problems of the sciences of human action, which begins on page 30, and you can read this uh, on their website in PDF form. Um, so on 31, he says. The experience with which the sciences of human action have to deal is always an experience of complex phenomena. No laboratory experiments can be performed with regard to human action. We are never in a position to observe the change in one element only, all other conditions of the event being equal to a case in which the element concerned did not change. So you, you can't do a controlled experiment. Like the only way you could do a controlled uh, control experiment with like huge populations, you you have to have a time machine, and you'd have to uh, see how uh, the event uh, transpired uh, with the with uh, the the variable doing one thing, and you have to go back in time and get the variable to do uh, another thing, all uh, all things being equal, and that's just not possible. Uh, so I I I'll recap you. You can't do controlled experiments because you, you can't, uh, you know, to, to use a Back to the Future reference for people who watch that movie, you can't have, uh, you know, Marty McFly, I guess, uh, you know, uh, not kiss his, his mother. And this is gonna, that's, that's, I know that's going to sound weird for people who haven't, who haven't seen Back to the Future. But you can't, you can't have Mar Marty McFly, unless you, have, unless, you, unless you have a time machine, which they did have in Back to the Future, you can't have... Uh, you know, Marty McFly, uh, you know, accidentally seduce his mom and, and erase him from existence and then go back and uh, him not seduce his mom and, and uh, his mom falls in love with his, his dad and gives birth to him. Yeah, uh, that's going to be totally confusing for people who didn't see Back to the Future, but that is uh, my interpretation of it. And I, I think Mises would appreciate the analogy if, if it's valid. Um, so, so yeah, so he, Mises just goes on. He said, it is impossible to reform the sciences of human action according to the pattern of physics and the other natural sciences. History can neither prove nor disprove any general statement in the manner in which the natural sciences accept or reject hypotheses on the ground of laboratory experiments. Uh, complex phenomena in the production of which various causal chains or interlaced cannot test any theory. Such phenomena, on the contrary, becomes intelligible only through an interpretation in terms of theories previously developed from other sources. So that's uh, his case, and he's, he uh, he doesn't stop there, but I I will stop there and. Uh, with, with, with Mises at least, and bring up another uh, great point uh, from uh, from uh, the structure of science. And I'm running out of time, so I'm going to hurry this up. He says, uh, uh, it's by Ern Ernest Nagel, uh, on page 452, he says, inquiries in which controlled experiments can be instituted possess fami uh, familiar and undeniable great advantages. Uh, it is indeed unlikely that various branches of sciences, uh, science could have achieved their present state of advanced theoretical development without systematic experimentation. Nevertheless, this conjecture is obviously unsound if extended to all the domains of inquiry in which compre comprehensive systems of explanation have been established. And here's the, here's the, uh, the, the point. Uh, neither astronomy nor astrophysics is an experimental science. So, uh, that's the last point I'm gonna make. You don't have to be experiment. You don't have to be experimental to be a science. And so, uh, pressurology is not experimental. 
That doesn't mean it's not scientific. 